heck did we get here? We don't have claws. We don't have fangs. We can't fly or climb better than any other animal. Where are our advantages, nature? Hey athletes and mathletes, what's up? I'm Trace, thanks for watching DNews today. We have some awesome advantages, you know, other than our big brain, that we can lord over the animal kingdom. The first is something that you probably do every day. We throw stuff. There are other animals that throw stuff, but nowhere near as well as we can. I'm talking about grabbing a random rock or a stick or whatever and hurling it at a target. We're versatile, we're accurate, we're powerful, and overall, we're probably the best. And a study in the journal Nature has some answers as to why. Around two million years ago, one of our ancestors, Homo erectus, first came on the scene. And for the first time ever, our ancient selves had a body made for throwing. Chimpanzees mainly throw underhanded or like a dart because of the their shoulders and their waist. In chimps, everything is strong, but it's also compact. It's not as flexible as Homo erectus. With a twist of the waist and an overhanded throw, Homo erectus could chuck a spear at his prey accurately and swiftly, enabling us to rise to the top of the food chain. Thanks to these evolutionary advantages, chimpanzees can actually be bested at throwing overhanded by a little league pitcher. They do throw rocks and feces, but not accurately, thank goodness. We're not just good at throwing either, we're also damn good at running. There was a TED talk here in DC back in 2010, where Christopher McDougall spoke about how we evolved to run. We can run longer than any other animal, and we are fantastic at it when we do it properly. He believes it's one of the other things that humans were born to do. Pair running with a powerful throw, and we sounded like pretty good hunters, guys. But there's more than that. A study in the journal Psychonomic Bulletin and Review says even when blindfolded, Humans are freaking awesome at chasing stuff, blindfolded. When trying to catch something, there are a couple of different strategies that you can choose from. Sharks use a pursuit method, where they get behind and they chase that mofo down. It works because they're powerful and they're fast, but if that thing is good at avoiding you and it's almost as fast, a better strategy is constant angle trajectory. Essentially, you aim ahead of your prey and you have time to adjust your course if your prey moves. Using a beeping football, participants were blindfolded and told to catch the person holding it. They listened for the beep, even blindfolded, and 97% of the time they instinctively adopted a constant angle trajectory to catch their prey. Because they couldn't see, they used their other senses to see where the runner was in their mind and put it all together super quickly. How do you feel now? Still dejected about the lack of advantage in the wild? Tell us your thoughts in the comments, and thanks a lot for tuning in to DNews, everybody. See you later.